Terry Norris enters this fight with just eight months of professional experience, but even at this early stage, uh, we can see his tremendous potential. Norris becomes one of the greatest junior middleweights in history, and sometimes it's interesting to see early bouts of fighters and how skilled they were even at the beginning of their careers. In the opposite corner stands Sergio Reyes, hailing originally from Chihuahua, Mexico, and now campaigning out of Scottsdale, Arizona. Reyes supposedly has a powerful left hook and an amateur record of 77-3, and but here he is cannon fodder for the emerging force in the division, which is Terry Norris. 300 amateur bouts. Tell you how all that came about in their native Texas in just a bit. In the red trunks, that's uh, Norris, Terry Norris, and NATO, N-E-T-O, Reyes is in the white, trimmed in blue, with the red stripe down the side. What, uh, what did the Norris do in their spare time, do you suppose? <laughs> well, they probably worked Monday through Friday, but the story is, as given to me, Al Bernstein, their dad would take him to amateur bouts on Saturdays and Sundays. He would uh, put both of them in the ring, fighting under their name, Norris, on Saturday. Solid right hand by Norris, and Reyes goes down, and he gets up rubber-legged, and Davy Pearl is looking at him, and Reyes is staggering and going down, and this fight is over. For well, to continue that story, they would fight Saturday under the name of Norris, and Sunday fight again, but under different names. They'd get in two bouts a week as kids. What a run. Well, you know, we really didn't get a chance to see this kid. He just throws one punch. Wow. We. Well, that's his fourth straight quick knockout, so uh, he is starting to put things together. I was going to say that the word on him is he had very quick hands, and yeah, they were quick. One punch. You know, you bring up an interesting point. Now, managers and trainers are happy that the guy wins, but right. they don't want him to win in one round because he gains very little experience, and in a round that lasts just maybe 25 or 30 seconds, he gains no experience at all. Now, from a fighter's standpoint, listen. The longer I'm in there, I can well, get hurt. So if I can put the guy away now, let me do it. But it is, yeah, you're at kind of the horns of a dilemma. Well, Joe Sayadovich, his uh, manager, had told us today that uh, they would like him to be in fights where he's getting a chance to use his skills a little more. In cases like this, of course, you know, he doesn't. But my, my, that was a quick right hand. I and think uh, we're going to see it we'll again. We'll look at now. it, yeah. yeah. Now he sets it up with the jab. Well, that's the way to do it, isn't it? Oh. Set it up with the, the jab going out there, even though it didn't land. And then just a quick flashing right hand. Here it, it is was, again. It was there. Oh, oh boy. Yes. Now, when Reyes went down, he tried to get up, went back down again, staggered, and uh, Davey Pearl, quick to realize, looking at him as he staggers away, you know, hey, you're in no condition to continue, and wisely, that fight was stopped. Reyes is all right now, up and moving about, but what an impressive, there's Reyes, what an impressive right hand thrown by young Terry Norris. Uh, the Norris brothers are certainly going to be heard from. Dave Von Tempo is up there, but before we hear from Dave, Chuck Hull's got the official time on the bout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Davey Pearl stops the bout at 40 seconds of the first round. Winner by TKO, Terry 